Hello and welcome to Game Club and today a game that will take our breath away as we fly in the sky high up and do stuff. Join us as we play Top Gun. The usual fun, time for the unboxing and I think that we've got a little perforation here so I will exploit that. And here we go. Right, the box is <coughs> shockingly dull. Um, I'm not really a massive fan of it at all. I think that there's, there could have been a lot more work done, especially if you've seen the Back to the Future uh, box or even the Die Hard box. Excuse the lightning in the background there. That's not that's not a part of the atmosphere. <laughs> intimidating out there. Anyway, just going to open them up. Now, the other thing I'd say is that it's obviously exploiting the fact that the, the new film will be out soon, and I just think that um, it really could have added something extra to this. Okay, inside we've got a strategy guide instruction booklet with Maverick on there. Right, we've got lots of uh, pieces to go there. Very good. More pieces to be punched out. A board, which is the terrain for the fight, and a picture of Maverick there. We then have Maverick and Goose uh, set there, and we've got who's this Iceman and Slider. We've got what looks like some dice, and oh, some little stands, some cards, and then we've got some other cards as well, and also the stands. Right, so I'm hoping that this game will at least take my breath away. It probably won't, but you never know. Join us now as we play and review Top Gun. Gun set up in front of me here, and basically <clears throat> it goes through two phases. So there is the uh, volleyball phase, and then the hop phase. Which they so just to show you, this is the booklet here. Uh, effectively, this will outline how each is played, how you score, and how effectively you win. The pilot phase or the hop phase is a little bit. They make it a little bit more complex than actually is, but it's a case of the the, the complex element is the battling. And obviously when the game ends then effectively the scoring as well comes into it as well but what so the volleyball stage works like this all of these cards will actually be turned over so they will effectively be like this and what you're doing is you, you will set up how you want this to look and your opponent will also choose how they want it to look and the cards you don't want to reveal are these whiff cards because they allow they give the person who reveals them as you can see like for instance Blue team draws one green pilot tile, which are here, and then there's pilot tiles green, and there's also then blue pilot tiles um, as well, and red pilot tiles as well, and the cards as well. You see green, you've got a green WSO card here, and effectively then you get your uh, blue and red ones, which are for the actual blue and red players. Anyway. So what happens is that, for instance, I will start, I would send the volleyball over to a particular uh, sort of target here. And as you can see in the booklet, and uh, the reason I'm showing you the booklet as well is because I think it's, it's best to be able to kind of illustrate with the booklet how it works. So what happens is effectively you will serve over uh, the, the volleyball token onto the first card in the last row. So effectively this goes all the way over here. And then what happens is this player will then reveal, and I can choose anywhere obviously on here, but I'm going to choose this one, the reveal where to pat it to, you know, like in volleyball. You've got three movements to get it back over. So as you can see here, it tells you that can be one in any direction. So you probably go one to here for the bump, and the bump would be one or two, and effectively they will send that two forward. And then you can, here you've got a bump to take it over, but to be fair, you could also want, you would want a spike, it's quite useful, or you wouldn't want a whiff. But then you'd knock it over, and then obviously they would go about doing theirs. And once these are revealed, once the whiffs are revealed, the person obviously who reveals them gets the bonus for it, um, which would be this card, and also, and or one of these as well, and I'll come out about those for the next round which is the uh, hop phase which becomes the, the kind of battling phase um, which we then go on to where what you do effectively as you can see you get a series of these cards you can choose these are the setup cards which tell you the elevation 
uh, and obviously the attacking plane and the defending plane and then the score points and what you do is you move around this board uh, effectively trying to collect these and dodge your guy here and the way you do that is you've got these little top gun face off bits uh, these are for Iceman and Slider and behind there obviously as you can see uh, it gives you sort of a details for our target lock if you're one or more elevation above your opponent roll one additional die these are the dice I'll just put that away now because we kind of we've got that so these are your dice these are your attack dice which you're using and what you will do is you will draw your uh, you have these which are your tiles as well as uh, these tiles as well as your cards as well and as you can see on the cards for instance it shows you options uh, which basically relate to the board here and the scoring on the board so for instance uh, ignore elevation loss if you if you lose elevation uh, retrieve cards and then of course you've got movement so for instance here will show you where your movement is and where you've hit people and then uh, you also get your green cards which I'll just flip this sorry I'm just flipping those over they're slightly cumbersome and you've got your green cards here and obviously they have similar situations as well so you score points for wherever the player is or wherever the uh, reverse player is and they lose elevation sorry as well and then you've got these cards which show you for instance that goes elevation lowered minus two and that player is, ends there and the same again elevation minus one to start and they end one space further and effectively that's how it works so, so, so sorry just to explain basically you've got this will say you start there and you go down minus two to end two elevations lower and as you can see here that's quite important because the one who's higher up gets the bonus basically it's um well, i'll go ahead and review it so then i can discuss and as you can see the game ends when either team or both teams has 12 or more points after hop ends uh, the team with the most points wins right i will go and now review Top Gun was a game that I actually picked up. It's one of the very, very few games I actually paid for. Uh, That's not because I don't like paying for games, it's more because I, I genuinely think that I should um, review games with the, the kind of impartiality. When I pay for something, I always feel like I should try and find a value in it. Top Gun's not a very good game. Uh, it's, it's been rushed out, I think, to, to the monopolize on the Top Gun 2 phenomena, which didn't happen because it wasn't released. It will be released shortly. Um, the game is really dull. The the uh, beach, the volleyball sit, 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 sit up, set up, sorry, is is not very well done. Uh, it feels heavy. It's not exciting, and uh, it's over pretty quickly though. To be fair, which is a, a blessing because it kind of drags otherwise. Um, to be fair, most people who probably like it or like the film will probably hate it as well. So that always makes me reassured. Um, the pilot sequence is better for more serious gamers but it it does have an issue of being too heavy with its mechanics because it's very much clunky mechanics do this do that do other sort of there's no flow to it because it feels very uh, modulated but in a very haphazard way and um, most players will probably find it doesn't sort of naturally sink which would annoy the hell out of me as well um, in the end, I came away thinking, I only paid 250 for this and it was 250 too much. It's a bad game with very little in the way of redeeming features and I would strongly uh, suggest that you avoid it like the plague. Uh, so unfortunately, that was the terrible Top Gun. Uh, I'm Simon and this is Game Club and thank you for watching. And do not buy this.